So the question I get a lot, and it's typically from the anti-hunting lobby, is do sportsmen actually pay for conservation? The short answer is yes. There is no other group in the United States that contributes more funding directly to on the ground wildlife conservation projects than sportsmen. Sure, you have a lot of great NGOs out there, the Nature Conservancy, WWF, all doing great work on the ground. But there's no collective group of people doing more for wildlife conservation in the US than hunters. The reason that question is posed is because there was a study, and I'll put it in quotation marks, done by the Mountain Lion Foundation that showed that 94% of all funding that goes to wildlife actually comes from the lay public. And I was like, man, that's amazing. I need to look at those statistics because geez, I've, I've had the wool pulled over my eyes this entire time. That 94% is an incredible, massive chunk of the pie, leaving only about 6% based on their claims that come from hunters and Pittman Robertson that goes to wildlife conservation on the ground. So, whew, man, I can't believe that. So the first red flag is that it's not actually a study. It's not peer reviewed. It's not published. It's an opinion piece, a blog post on the Mountain Lion Foundation website that's written in the style of a science paper. It has an abstract, has an intro, has a method, has results, has conclusion. Not a scientific study. It was written by Mark Smith, who's a staff writer for the Mountain Lion Foundation, and Donald Wold, who's an MD. So if you go to the Mountain Lion Foundation website, just Google Mountain Lion Foundation funding study Smith and Wold, and it'll come up. And if you read it, you're going to be just as confused probably as I am. So based on what I can interpret, this is what they're saying. Because the federal government budget for wildlife management areas, i.e. BLM, refuges, U.S. Forest Service lands, etc., 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 is 94% of all the money that goes to wildlife. That means, through taxes, that the public is paying 94% of the bill. They also state that, at the time of the study, 4.6% of the population were hunters, and 4.6% are buying hunting licenses, and so only 4.6% of the gross population are actually contributing to wildlife through their taxes to the federal government. So what's wrong with that assumption, Robbie? Like what's, what sounds about right? Technically, it's not quite as simple. Yes, the feds do do some wildlife conservation work on their lands, but the vast majority, the bulk of the work is done by state agencies on a state by state basis. The resources that live in the state, the animals in that state belong to the state. Remember the North American wildlife model? And so the state-led wildlife conservation efforts are primarily funded by hunters and shooters. It's not the feds worrying about turkey populations in the state of Mississippi. It's the Mississippi wildlife fisheries and parks that are worrying about turkey populations. It's not feds worrying about mountain lion populations in the state of Colorado, it's Colorado Parks and Wildlife worrying about mountain lions in the state of Colorado. It's not the feds worrying about elk in the state of Kentucky, it's Kentucky Game and Fish worried about elk in the state of Kentucky. You get my drift? I'll do one better. Have you ever seen a fed agency put up a wildlife tag for auction to raise money to do wildlife conservation work through the federal entity? The answer is no. And probably no because they'll just be a phenomenal bureaucratic logistical nightmare if they even attempted to do it. Yet if you just rewind the clock a couple of months to the Wild Sheep Foundation show in the state of Nevada, in Reno, where the state of Colorado's Rocky Mountain Bighorn tag sold for $600,000, and similarly the state of New Mexico's bighorn sheep tag sold for $600,000. Both permits were record-breaking permits. Both permits sent $540,000 back to the state. The state that is in charge of sheep conservation 
in their respective states. All in all, the Sheep Show raised over $6.5 million for state-led conservation efforts. So again, who is actually driving wildlife conservation efforts on the ground in the states? For the vast majority, it is the state's wildlife agency. So the question, do sportsmen actually contribute to wildlife conservation? <laughs> There's my answer.